All right, so we're we're talking about <laughs> honest in action, okay? And we want to emphasize the the piece of the homework writing, but you can't separate the homework writing without really understanding where all of this information is going to come from. So we briefly and quickly we're going to go through some of these slides, trying to make sure this thing is on. Yeah, it's working. It's working. Is it die? Is it die? <laughs> now, all of this information that I've gathered for the slides are, again, on the Pi Theta Kappa website. You can go to www.pt3.org, get involved, honest in action. Okay. So, the first step, as they mentioned on the video, is to choose a theme. Okay. My school has chosen um, theme number eight, which is making the grade competition in education. Okay. Now, where did I get that information? Every chapter and every member that is one to participate on the Honest in Action project should have an option in Honest in Action project, um, program guide that tells you what the different themes are so that you can go ahead and choose. And as a theme, we sat down and we looked at what we've done in the past and we looked at what's going on currently in our school and we figure out that the school is doing a big push about completing and we have Achieving the Dream and we have C4 at our disposal to be able to help us make a big push towards um, higher education. <laughs> and like I mentioned earlier, um, the average student in our campus is not really thinking of transferring to a four-year degree. They want to just go ahead and complete what they're doing, their certificate or their degree, and then just move on to the workforce, which is a great but we want to be able to let them know that they can aspire for more. We want to let them know that just because they're attending a technical college, that's not the end. We're not there just to give you the training that you need and just go back to work. We want to let them know that you can go to a four year if that's what you desire. You can get the education that you need here to prepare you to get to that next level and continue on. And those doors are available to you. So what my, what my chapter decided to do is how do we convey that information? So we decided to look into the theme of competition and education and see how can we explore that theme and utilize it to work towards our advantage so that we can go ahead and help our campus. And that's what everybody should be doing. Is anybody else doing any other uh, topic if, that they would like to share? Yeah? yeah? Um, we're working on theme one, the psychology theme. Okay, and what chapter are you? Um, like the Mount Vernon. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Else? <laughs> okay. Thank so you. Anybody else? Yes? Uh, we're doing competition in education. Okay, and um, your chapter? Chapter, uh, Alpha, Epsilon, Omega. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, Seattle. Awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, theme two, sports. Uh, Bellevue College, Alpha Epsilon Hero. Awesome, thank you very much. Yes? Seattle Central is doing art and competition. Cool. Beautiful, I love it. Anybody else? Gadget? Any ideas? We're still brainstorming. We're still brainstorming? Yeah. And, and that is fine, that is a great place to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, because hopefully this information that we're sharing will help you move to the next level, will inspire you. Um, I tell people all the time, when you decide to go to, um, to uh, institution of higher, level, of higher education, you go in there with the purpose of probably knowing where you want to go and what it is that you want to study, but if you don't, just go ahead and engage, because as you engage, you're going to meet people from different walks of life, and they might inspire you in one way or another to move in that direction. So, as we are here, we're hoping that the information that these chapters have will be able to go ahead and help you, and the information that we're putting out will help you now move you towards a direction that's going to be beneficial not only to you, but to your chapter and to your campus. Okay? So, so then, once you go ahead and you choose your theme, okay, you review all the themes and you set them on the theme, the next thing that you want to do is on inside that theme you want to go ahead and choose a topic. Okay? Once you know what the overall theme of your, of your research is going to be, the topic will be the next thing, narrowing down the field of what it is that you want to go ahead and explore. 
about this vast subject that you have just selected to do. Uh, try to keep it, you know, precise to a specific area. Uh, narrow it down as much as possible. In the in the program <coughs> guide, each theme has questions for explorations to kind of help you out and decide, okay, the direction, the, to the topic that you want to go ahead and, uh, and dive into and explore. But they're just there as suggestions. You are welcome to come up with your own because <clears throat> some of these questions might not uh, be <coughs> beneficial for your chapter because your college doesn't really deal with that. So, feel free to explore your own questions, to create your own questions that deal with things and things that are happening in your campus, because that is the overall goal. Is, you know, you want to go ahead and be able to help your campus in a positive way. Okay, so you go ahead and you make sure that you focus and narrow down what the research is going to be. You ask yourself that question. You bring your teammates into that and brainstorm about the way and the direction that you guys want to go ahead. And now the, after that, it's all about the research. Research, research, research. Please stay away from Google, stay away from Wikipedia, stay away from all of those nice sites that are easy to use that become the bathroom wall of the internet. There's a lot of trash out there that is not right and that is not scholarly worthy. Okay? What they want you to do is they want you to use scholarly journals and research materials. What I've done there on that slide is I've put in several uh, websites that are of good scholarly support for you guys that you can use the information in there to do your honest in action research. Okay? Document everything that you do. As you have your team together, documentation is going to be the most important thing that you guys are going to be doing. Okay. Now, from those chapters that had mentioned the topic that they're doing, <coughs> mentioned the theme that they're going to be working on, has anybody done research and gotten it all together so that they can share with the group? Go ahead. Yes. Um, I could, uh, uh, we could show. Can I pull up our website? Should I be okay with you? If I don't yeah, think? that would be fine. We're here to share, so yeah. that would be awesome. Um, You're good, you're awesome. Every Monday. Every Monday night, they're mm -hmm. there underneath. Um, I buy Freeway, 6th and Sherry, feeding 100 to 150 people a hot meal. And it's really, really cool. We're getting, getting ready to do it again here on what day? November 12th. November 12th. And so that's that's an example of um, something that that they did last year for their college project. Show the research page. I would definitely do that. So... No, accomplishments. Didn't you do it? Oh, no. Here it is. Okay, good. Honor, 
Okay, so up here, um, we've got we've got our topic, which is the honors and uh, action in M pages, um, and so every every officer is working on a particular topic that is important to them in providing education that is accessible to everybody. Myself personally, I'm working on trying to provide opportunities for people with learning dis disabilities to uh, have an access to education. Our president, Dan uh, Heinsen, is working on trying to find ways to um, get people to reintegrate back in the school. Dan Johnson, our VP, um, is working on ways to try to make it so that it's easier for people who are age 50 and up. Joe's working on the minority. And Lisa's also trying to make, um, trying to find ways to make it so that people with um, learning disabilities have access to funding in education. So up here, we have a bunch of TED Talks. Um, we, have, we have the questions and we have um, the topic up here, um, TED Talks of inspiration. Uh, people with learning disabilities. Here's the questions. Um, and so then down below we have links as to um, what each each uh, number is doing, or each uh, each <laughs> officer. Officer is doing thank yous. And so we've got that uh, going on here. This is our, our research, and so there's also another tab that I've um, set up for um, making education uh, more accessible to people with learning disabilities. So whenever anything pops into my head, you know, I'll just I'll just put it up here. So around North, um, you know, a new student will come to school and not not know how to navigate, not how know, know how to get onto the computer. So I've I've set this up for them to get a net ID, so they don't have to go looking through our interface. Um, down here, same with registration. All you have to do is click on that and it takes you right to it. Um, same with the have a library link uh, with all of our resources and our databases. Uh, down below, um, I've got um, take advantage of the tutoring. We also have a math learning center in our um, in our college. Uh, down below that, I have Khan Academy. I have uh, Education Portal, which is a free education site where you go and um, you can you can take a class for free, you know, and you can get you can get tutoring help online. Um, Quizlet is a great site that um, helps you. Uh, you can you can score yourself, do time tests. Um, this guy, um, he he's uh, he's somebody who's dyslexic, and he um, he's a venture capitalist who has worked on um, resources for people with, with dyslexia. And he, right here, he's, he's telling somebody how to set up reading software on their computer so that your computer can read back to you. Um, down here is Lime, which is a, a, a website that sets up mentorship for people with learning disabilities. So if you need somebody to kind of show you the process, that, that will help you. Here's a little bit of research on, on the guy who started uh, the previous. Um, this, is, this is his organization. Um, so, how many times have you heard a student say, oh my gosh, I can't do the homework because I don't have the software. So here's a link right to um, iCloud, which is um, a website that, that allows you to make monthly payments on Microsoft products. Download that, it's free, um, free office software that is comparable to Microsoft, but, you know, it, it's not. <laughs> it's free, which is good. Um, Lynda.com, this site teaches you how to use computer software. So um, if you don't know how to use MS Word, you can go to the site and learn. Um, same, um, this is free design software. So if you want to, you know, something comparable to Photoshop, you can go on to GIMP and download that onto your computer and do it. Um, this is about the disability, uh, disability rights. Um, so this is about the whole education behind stuff. Um, Dictionary.com, easy to. Um, you guys, you teachers might not like me for this, I'm kind of old, but <laughs> rate my professor.com, you can research your teachers. You know? Uh, I mean, how many times have you been in a class and like you're like, this this person not working for my learning style. Uh, now I'm now I'm now I'm happy to deal with it. Um, uh, play 
plagiarism, which is part of the reason why I asked the gentleman earlier about it. This is a link to what plagiarism is, link to our library. A lot of people, especially international students, don't know. You know, they don't know the difference between what cheating and plagiarism is. They, they don't. They, they, they call it helping. <laughs> um, down below that, how to avoid plagiarism, and so that that's kind of the idea. And so my my pitch to you guys is. So there's, there's something that, that you're doing that's right, that has made it so that you're here. And I think it's better to share the wealth. Like, let's, let's get together and get all the ideas and all the things that have made us successful and give those to other people as resources online. So that's, that's kind of what I have for you. PTK hyphen North Seattle dot edu. Yeah, no, dot org. Yeah, dot org. There it is. Okay, thank you. Awesome. Anybody else that would like to share? I'd just like to add something on to. Hold that. So, one thing we were talking about at the summer conference was that uh, JD brought up is having member meetings on top of your officer meetings. So what we've incorporated is on our PTK Fridays. So at two o'clock we have our officer meetings and we get together and discuss everything that we're working on currently. And then right after that we hold at three o'clock to 3.30 we have our member meetings where we allow any of our members to come in to hear about what we're doing, to join in and participate in any of our events and to bring anything to our attention. We've had a couple members, one, um, brought up backpacks and school supplies for foster kids, and they bring up the ideas, and then we give them the project. We have them spearhead it, and then we are just there for support and promotion of that. And so another one we've done was um, Shepherd's Counseling, is um, counseling services for adult survivors of sexual childhood abuse. And we do a walk around Green Lake, I think it's the first Saturday of every month. And so we've been backing them up and joining with them. We've also been incorporating with um, all the different clubs on campus and with the Feminist Alliance group and all the different, trying to make our presence more widely known. Because most of the campus, they hear PTK and they just think, oh, they just want money from us. Like, who is these people and what are they providing? Mm -hmm. After our member meetings, we have a, we call it PTK Fridays and the way we distribute information about this. We have flyers and we pass them out and everything. We post them everywhere and we let people know. And this is open for anyone on campus to come in and get homework help. We do games, we have movies, and it's just kind of get together and do homework and be more of a presence on campus. Okay. So that's Provide just a support network. For people. Provide a support network. And what we have it set up is we have one room where we have the games and computers that people can use. Another room is kind of an open study room where we have a movie playing. And in the back room, we have it set up as a quiet study area, peer tutoring, and then we also have a peer counseling service that we're trying to establish on campus just to make, if anyone's having issues and needs someone to talk to, we want to make them know that they can come to us and they'll have someone to talk to. So. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else that would like to share? Yeah. I'm the president of the Seattle Central PTK chapter, and our subtopic this year is art, and we've been focusing on the George Sudakawa Fountain in our school, and i just like to have all of my non-officers stand up just to show how many we have today. So if you're not an officer and you're one of my members, if you could just stand up. I won't ask you to speak. Um, Ari is one of the ones co-chairing our Honors in Action process. Um, she's on the subcommittee and she and other um, non-officers have been working on this and I'd just like to piggyback on that. It's a great thing to do. Um, I just really want to suggest that no matter how small your club is, I know we heard of some very small clubs in comparison to at least ours um, with about 300 members right now, get your other members involved. Um, you can't do this alone, and why should you? Why would you want to? Um, um, we're having a lot of fun with it, and like I said, I'm sure there are other non-officers here as well, um, with the artwork in particular. We have quite a lot of support from ours, so that's all I wanted to say. Excellent. I would like just to share the, our 
idea about sports. So we chose uh, theme two, and uh, we are trying to look what's the competition, what competition means for athletes that they, regular athletes that they go to the Olympic Games, and what competition means for uh, special athletes in the uh, Special Olympics. And I think we're going to compare and contrast uh, why they go and compete, the regular ones, and why they go and compete. And, and we came up with the idea of organizing an event that we'll we will invite regular athletes and uh, we will have special athletes coaching regular athletes. So they will have to go through the process of you know, going on the wheelchair and see how that mm -hmm. feels and how much they have to try to get to the point that they, you know. So I think that's it. I hope that um, you, you've gathered from what you've heard and what you've seen that there are no limits to what you can do. You can take it online and put the information out there for people to be able to have it at their disposal anytime they want. You can research and get them involved so that they will learn what the other side of the coin is doing and how they're doing it so that they will be an awareness created. So use your, use your project and your research to make a, a meaningful impact to your campus. I want to thank those folks that uh, went ahead and, uh, and shared with us. Again, um, they want you to use 8 to 10 academic or professional uh, to do your research. Okay. They have to be academic, not editorial. They can be online journals, books, or even um, personal interviews. Okay. Just make sure that whatever you use, you document everything that you do and where you got it. Because all of that is going to be important for your, for the piece of your writing. Now, step four is <coughs> it's um it's kind of the reflection piece. You gotta you come and you have all this information on paper, and you've done all this research, and you have all these numbers together, and now what? Well, now you sit down with your team, okay, and you kind of look at all the information that you have, and that's when you start putting your actual action part of your project together to make sure that you have implementation. So, uh, make sure that you, uh, you use all of your documentation to guide you on what you're going to do in regards to your uh, to the actions that you want to do in your with your project, and make sure you remember your deadline. It's very important. Okay. During the next step of the project in action, okay, you'll be doing the campus involvement. Uh, you try to go ahead and um, get your uh, your project up and running, show it in front of your campus, and um, and hopefully, you know, will involve the community as well. <coughs> All of your research and everything that you have done should be able to, um, to put a successful um, project together where you're either helping somebody or giving out information or supporting another group that is doing what you have been, what you have been trying to research. There are many ways that you can get your honest and action project. Now, as it was mentioned, you don't do this by yourself. It's a team effort. So, your team has to stand up and help you put this entire thing together and see it to completion, see it into action. It's great to be able to stand up and either give information or show a movie. In my campus, we're, we're talking about education and we're focusing you know, on how many students do we have in our campus that need to take remedial classes. And why are they taking remedial classes? They ha what happened to that education that they got prior that all of a sudden they need to take remedial classes to meet the requirements for them for graduation. And we're hoping to be able to show a couple of movies that address some of that and hoping that it will start conversation in regards to some of the things that, uh, that they see in the movie and come up with solutions. Um, tutoring is one of the things that we're trying to go ahead and push real big on campus and, um, and also we're trying to involve uh, the commit to complete and accomplish the dream. 
to come and make a big push about education and completing your, your degree, not letting anything that comes into life that sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming discourage you from completing your degree. <coughs> Okay, step six. You take you take a look back and you and you adjust and fire again. If your project is um, is not going the way that you have planned, it's okay to go back and look at your project and adjust the direction that your project is going. Okay, just remember documentation, documentation, documentation. Okay, success or failure, you have to document what you have done what worked, what hasn't worked, because that's what they want to see. Okay. They don't want to hear that you are that you did a successful project and that you helped all these people. That is great. And what they want to see is they want to see the process that you took to get there. That is the important piece. Okay. And then you know after you do your honors in action project and you do your research and you have done all of this stuff, then you come and you kind of put it all together into this amazing paper, the homework writing, and then you submit it in the hopes that they see all the hard work and dedication that you have put and they recognize you for <coughs> the job that you have done. At this point, I want to go ahead and call my client, which she's going to go ahead and talk to us about the, sure. the homework writing. Now, everybody should have a handout with the uh, um, with the homework rubrics and that's what she's going to go over, so. Excellent. Okay, so. So I gave a handout just uh, from the website. They just put up the ability when you go to myptk.org to start your Hallmark team. So your president or your advisor can get on there. And I just printed off the questions in the rubrics for honors and action essay and college project essay, but there's a lot of them. So if you go to myptk.org and you get on there, you can see there are all of these essays listed. Our, they pulled up our, the, the ones I started for our officers, we have, we're going to do honors in action, college project, distinguished chapter, chapter officer team, and distinguished chapter officer. You can see the hallmarks, previous hallmarks from before, they give you rubrics. You can see award-winning essays on this website. There are videos on there that show you, tell you how to write it. And it, it, it's really important to use the resources that International gives you to do it. What you're writing on is anything that occurred from January 1 to December 31. So you can use they go by the, ac not by the academic year, but by the calendar year. So you can use anything that happened for that. You, because a lot of us start our new officers in spring and then you're working on something over the summer and you're scrambling in fall to kind of get all this together. So you can use stuff that happened before if you're continuing on with something. But the basic idea is research first. This is a fairly new way to do this. I believe this is the third or fourth year, correct me if I'm wrong, other advisors, that we're writing the essays this way. It used to be we wrote a leadership essay, scholarship, fellowship, service essay, but now they've done it in honors and action, and what they're trying to emphasize is academic research. So like Martin said, use quality resources to do that, and there are eight, you can, they, you can use as many sources as you want, but in your essay for honors and action, you're gonna list eight. And it's not MLA format or anything like that, they just want, they'll give you the guidelines on how to list it, and there's a word count for these essays. So you wanna be careful and stay within those word counts, and it's best to start early and get somebody, you know, your advisor can look, but these are written by students. The advisor writes the distinguished officer team essay, but the students or officers or whoever, the members write the other ones. Find someone from your English department or someone who's good at that, that's willing to look at it and ask them early. Our deadline to submit these are on this paper, so January 29th by 5 p.m. is the deadline to submit to International. And let me tell you, if you wait till that last day, the web, the, the website for submission, it, it's, it's slow and you might be late. It's better to get it done early. But start asking now. Hey, you know, one of your, your humanities professors or something, they'll be willing to look at your essays 
and give you some tips on grammar and things like that. And they have the points all set up on there on how you get the most points and things like that. But it's good to find someone early because professors are busy too. And so you just bring them an essay without warning them. And last minute, they may not have time to help you. So it's really important to do that. And what 530 Kappa is stressing is academic research. So it's not that you, and they can tell when you write, it's not that you think of a project and then go back and research. They want you to do the research and present that information to your campus, to your members, to the community. And then out of that comes a project or an idea. And again, like Martin said, you can go back and tweak your idea if you want to, if it's not working out. But they really stress the academic research and then the reflection piece. So go back and how did this impact your community? How, what did you learn from it? They really like that reflection piece. Most of the award-winning essays are good. They do good academic research and they have a great reflection piece. It's not about the project. The project could even be just disseminating information to, uh, to the community. It doesn't have to be you're doing something hands-on. There's lots of different things that can be considered a project. But they want you to do the research and the reflection. It's key for that. And then just start early. You can just remember your deadlines. And you can ask for... If you have questions, you can ask regional officers, any of the coordinators, your advisor, international. We have our connections on our, when you get on your ptk.org, there's staff connections that you can talk to. But just really get going on it and do it. 